Hello everybody, Kanapati here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talk about uh, my cruise experience to Bahamas uh, from US. So I have some of the information and my experience and tips might help someone. So this may be the video would be helpful for you. So first thing I'm going to talk about uh, uh, visa. So if you happen to be on a visa in US and you are willing to travel to Bahamas on a vacation trip um, on a cruise uh, so that may be a question that uh, do you really need a visa to travel to Bahamas or can I don't can I just travel on a cruise while I have a visa in US and uh, can I just come, come back or travel back and forth will that be any issues yes so you don't really need a, a visa to go to Bahamas if you are going to be there less than 24 hours so most cruises will there at the Bahamas Islands are less than 24 hours or some maybe more than that. You just want to check for the Bahamas trip, the one, the type of a cruise you are picking up. So based on the trip, it might vary. So if your trip is going to be less than 24 hours to the Bahamas Island and most of the time you'll be on the sea, then you don't really need a visa. So as long as you have a valid uh, visa stamping, that is a US valid visa stamping on your passport, and uh, um, it is it has a validation to enter you back to US um, while port of entry on your return then that's all you need to you need a valid passport and a valid stamping visa with a validity date to return you back to US that's all you need to worry about then other than that you're good carry your identity proof and um, just go make your travel travel plan and you can you're good to go and second thing is um, travel early so whenever you book a cruise, um, always the cruise tickets are kind of non-refundable or they may have a cancellation policies are kind of little tough because it's not easy to prep a ship and travel. And so you cannot cancel the ship like 30 days or 60 days, it depends on the crew lines. So um, it's always good when you book a travel uh, like a day, you like a day before. So like at least you have one day or like a half a day gap so that you don't have any other problem. Let's say you are you're travel boarding from um, somewhere from Miami, and but you live somewhere in New York or New Jersey. So it's better you just travel a day before, so that you don't have any travel issues or flight cancellations and all the stuff. So now you can avoid all these things, and you can have a you know, great uh, travel trip with enough time. So plan a day ahead when you are flying to the destination where you're ship is going to depart check in early um, so uh, when you go for any uh, ships um, they obviously there will be a online check-in you have to fill a form and you need to do a lot of things uh, give you information and uh, you know, all the stuff so there there will be a place where they will uh, let you to check in in a time window you can pick a window where you are saying that you're going to check in make sure that you at least do like three or four hours before so usually it's you can go gate will close like an hour before but it's also good if you do it like three or four hours before so you don't have to wait for a big line at times there are chances like there will be like three or four ships will start at the same time so all the three four ships will be lining up on the same security gate uh, so that can be really tough when you're traveling with kids so it requires a lot of patience to be on the line with kids and you know, handle all the stuff so it's always good like go like four hours or three hours before so no it makes your life easier and uh, they really help you out they are very nice with us and they were able to check all the papers and they do whatever it takes to make your happy journey um, so that is one and uh, once the security check is completed you go to the next stage that is where you get the your sailing card that is actually your boarding that's kind of a boarding pass and also it's everything so you have to take your car ticket and you have to show everything and uh, when you do online check-in you will also give your credit card information and in the online check-in to create an onboard account so that account is tied up with, to your onboard sailing card so that card is everything for you like your room key is that and your identity proof is that actually you are the person your photo will be you no know, associated with that uh, that a uh, card number and everything and your dining information is written on it and uh, you know if you want to buy anything on the ship 
So you cannot use your credit card, you have to use your saving card so that it's all go to your room account, then altogether it will be charged on your credit card that you have given um, during the time of check-in. It's similar like your hotel booking, you know, you just go your give your credit card by the time of you book a hotel or check in your hotel and whatever things you do or you things goes against your hotel room, it will be charged when you check out. So it's a very similar process, that's why they ask for a card. And you can't use your debit card, it's everything is sailing card. Make sure that if you have kids, uh, block their uh, you know, charging abilities um, so that if their card got lost uh, somewhere, um, they, others cannot misuse the card or just go buy a beer or you know, just drinks or something and it'll end up being charged on your account. So just be you know cautious on that piece, just keep it till the adults. Um, then the, make sure your kids come to you and ask for that. So keep that and if you have a tag it's like an office tag or something that the tag rope like an ID rope just carry that with you uh, that will be handy because uh, when they give you a card the sailing card the sailing card will have a hole so you can just put your um, uh, the tag office tag kind of ID tag so that it will be hanging around with you so that if you are in a swimming pool or you are playing in a water thing you know so you won't lose your card you don't keep your you know, in a in a trouser pocket and when you're swimming around it can just go inside anywhere and it get lost so try to avoid that and carry the office tag or some things which can stay with you all the time and just hang it around and the other one is like a luggage so when you do a check-in online and um, there will be a big form like few pages form will be there the last page will be the usually the luggage information they'll give you a luggage tag print that and uh, take it with you while you are standing online people will come to you um, they'll ask for your luggage and give the last paper of the tag and they will clip it together on your luggage and they will take your big luggages out of you and uh, they will bring the luggages to you during the time um, I mean after you check in and you are onboarded and like it'll take an hour or two most likely in my case it was there like one and a half hours they brought the luggages to your room directly and uh, when you book a room, make sure that you are booking a little away from the elevators. Don't book next to the elevators. It might be a little bit noisy. It depends on the cruise line. Some cruise lines are good. They won't hear any noise. Some cruise lines are really, you know, a little bit here. You won't, you will hear all kind of noises. You know, people keep using the elevator. That's another tip in the middle I just realized. And um, another thing you need to remember is uh, intercommunication so it means like all the rooms does have a uh, intercom so that you can talk to another ones for example if you're going with a couple of families together and they are staying in different locations use their intercom phone by just dialing the room numbers uh, but what happens if you are actually outside um, somewhere you are on the different floor but you want to reach to someone so the good idea is here uh, people can buy the internet access internally and you can use it. It's like five dollars a day But both the pre both the parties should have a five dollars spent from them But other than that uh, you can use something like a Bluetooth chatting app so that uh, you can use the Bluetooth app to communicate directly with your mobile phones so you don't need a service providers and also when you're on the sea you don't really need to make any calls because it will be overseas and you will end up getting a roaming charges so make sure that you use the Bluetooth apps. There are many apps available in the app stores so that you can communicate to each other or just at least send a text messages. Out of the worst case, if you're not a smartphone you know, a person, um, no worries, just carry some sticky notes and write some note and stick it on your, um, you know, your other family's door somewhere so that they can see. So when they come back to the, uh, um, their room, they can see. Or you can leave a voicemail, but it'll be a little bit hassle. It won't be that friendly as having an internet or having a Bluetooth way of communication. Another thing is uh, once you get into the room, you know, um, you can see all the activities and events have been printed and it'll be keep, they'll be keep dropping to your room every day. It'll be there. Everything will be there. So go through, read through it and you know, prepare yourself and plan ahead of time. Sometimes there'll be some auctions going on. Sometimes there'll be some now some kind of a lottery going on so if you just happen to be there and drop your lottery ticket you can here happen to win some jewelries and this and that something will be there always so try to be on time don't miss a minute they already stay. they'll be getting they'll be on time so they don't wait for anybody they just keep going things will be going food food is the cool thing in the cruise food is like plenty it's like you can you don't need to buy extra food whatever the food they provide is like awesome food and it covers everything 
but if you still want to be like some speciality dishes like sushi and uh, some other kind of different crew lines have different things just check your crew lines uh, you know uh, offerings and what are things are charged so if those things if you're going for some you are a, um, a lover of sushi or any kind of specialty dishes like uh, you know, sea crabs and something like that you may have to pay for it use your room cards and just swipe it and get it done other than that foods are plenty even you can go um, at the starting of the day if your ship is starting in the evening like four or five o'clock in the evening and if you happen to be like 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning or afternoon you can still get the food food is there all time so don't worry about the food food is there in the ship all time um, and another thing you need to care about is uh, when you do a dining uh, when you do fooding there are two type of fooding will be there food uh, first one is like uh, open dining another one is like elegant dining so open dining is like uh, like a buffet you can just walk to the place and grab thing foods and whatever you want to just grab just be nice in the line and uh, people just make a line and just stand on the line and get your things that'll be much easier and faster and the other one is elegant dining which is like if you go to a place with you know a lot of people are sitting over there and you have a separate uh, table uh, waiter who will help and get things for you but there will be a lot of waiting time over there it depends on you know, if you have fun you want to talk and just you know nice and things and if you have a birthday party you want to celebrate then the uh, no, elegant dining is a place where you can really do it and if you just tell them they will make the birthday party really nice so i've seen many birthday parties happens if it happened to be your travel date and birthday dates are the same and uh, other one is bahamas activities there are a lot of activities over there um, so you can you can pick it on board and you can do it or if you don't want to do it or if you want to pay for something or you want to do it on your own everything is up to your choice so you can walk around take a pictures and take a, a water taxi or you can take a bike or you can take a street taxi whatever it makes sense for you um, so carry your id proof that's very important if you miss the ship you are on your own you have to return back on your own so ship will not wait for you uh, you have to be in the ship whenever whatever they say at what time they say so make sure that you carry your id proof and all the things with you always and keep it safe and um, other thing is like um, check out later uh, means like uh, whenever they do a check out um, means like once you're done with the vacation and you're back to your um, us um, they will call you by deck by deck so it depends on what deck you uh, your room is located it may be deck number one two three as a floor nothing but deckers and um, so um, based on that announcement you can bring your own luggages you can still carry the all the luggages with you or you can always drop some luggages that you don't use it in front of your door the day before they will take it out for you it's, there is no compulsion in some I'm talking about carnival uh, experience they don't compel you uh, to put your luggages out while you're coming out but while going, they would recommend you to hand over the big luggages so that it won't be a messy uh, during the time of uh, doing the paperwork and stuff. I mean, you're checking out. When I mean, you're checking in, um, so um, re-entering, maybe that's the right word. So we can use, um, no, we can bring all your things out. All you need to do is just show your passport, show your visa. And if you're a citizen, no worries, you are easy to go. If you are on a visa, just show the officer that you will not get a new I-94, it's whatever you have is that's the I-94. They simply verify your visa and passport and you are the person you left from US and you're coming back. Then that's it. Then you are in and you had a happy vacation. Uh, that's my um, tips and for today. So if, um, if I think anything will be worth, I'll make more videos. Thanks and thanks for watching. And if you like, give me a hands up.